Hey folks, Brian with Architect Video and Audio. We love the long range kayak. We love the short range kayak. We love to get out on the water and just disconnect and uh, just hang out with friends, have a good time. And some of our videos, we're trying to bring you some information about the areas that we do visit. I'll tell you, just to get out and get off that couch and experience life and just that, that visceral moment. You know, I've mentioned this in other videos to where it's just you. It's just you, it's just the river, and it's your friends. And uh, you don't have all the noise running around that, uh, in your head that really distracts you from living in the moment. So that's, uh, that's probably the main reason I really enjoy getting out here and doing these things. Just connecting and just, just enjoying the peace of it. Yeah, I've been into the airplanes my entire life. Became a licensed pilot some years ago. Got my son involved. At least got him in the airplane with me. Couldn't get him to take to, to take him lessons or, or getting his license, but it was a good time with him. Now he kayaks with us when he can, and we do connect there. He has a blast. And I wouldn't trade those moments with my son for anything. But uh, there's some other uh, things we like to get out here and do. We do like to hike. We've got some videos coming to you from that aspect, and hopefully they're informative and maybe introduce you to the area here uh, that we live in the Appalachian Mountains, right at the foothills of it. We've got some great trails, and uh, maybe get you excited to come out here and, and look at some of our uh, some of our scenic areas that we have to offer. One aspect, second only to flying, is to dive, and uh, there are some awesome waterways here. We do have a couple of lakes that are a little mysterious, a little, uh, little eerie to dive, but uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So we're going to bring you some of those videos here shortly. I think we're, we've talked about hitting uh, Watauga, uh, South Holston, and these are lakes in our area. Uh, there's a few local quarries that are of interest in this area. Uh, I might assemble some video that we've got some stock footage of just diving in, in foreign countries, etc., and what they have to offer. And it, it's, some of those pristine waters are just absolutely amazing. But uh, with that being said, we've got more videos coming to you. I just wanted to sit down and take some time to, to talk to you before we go do something today. All right, picking up where we left off. I am a member of an underwater investigation and recovery team in East Tennessee. And every now and again, as much as we possibly can, we try to get out as a unit and train to prepare for the conditions that we generally have to face in our waterways around here. It's generally black. Uh, Visibility is not always optimal down there. Uh, some of our dives are altitude dives. So there's, and we're dealing with obstructions and some various other things that we have to negotiate. So opportunities to train as a unit as a team to prepare for those moments so we can safely complete whatever assignment we're on is really important well the great quarry offers us those opportunities it's uh, been around a little bit and they have uh, submerged uh, some platforms down there that you can perform different skill exercises various other things and there are some obstructions, some swim throughs. There's a bus, a plane, even a fire truck somewhere down there. With all that being said, it just gives us an optimal environment, as said, to really just uh, build our skill sets and, and build our ability to work together as a unit and a team. Plus, it's a, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Our next stop is a great quarry. See you there.